Well, hello everyone and welcome to another fantastic episode of Aero Nicely News. Today is Friday, July 26, 2024. My name is Lenny Hernandez and we have a wonderful show in store for you today. On this episode, we're looking at Disability Independence Day and how Aero is celebrating accessibility and building a world where there are no boundaries to entry. We'll be taking a peek at our upcoming Disability Independence Day Diversity and Inclusion Speaker Series video. We'll be checking out Arrow's wonderful partnership with Silvert's Adaptive Clothing, and we'll be learning how Arrow is ensuring our communities are accessible and safe for residents of all physical capabilities. Accessibility is a vitally important topic, and it is always so exciting to learn how Aero is factoring it into everyday life. So let's uh, let's get this show on the road already. Welcome to Aero Nicely News. Let's go. Today, July 26, is Disability Independence Day in the United States. It's a day that commemorates the passing of the Americans with Disabilities Act, landmark legislation that protects people with disabilities in many areas of public life. From voting, to parking, to accessibility and entryways, these sets of civil rights laws ensures that those with disabilities are not barred from any aspect of life and are empowered to be full members of society. Well, to learn more about the day, Arrow released a Disability Independence Day conversation with Justin Amoyle, the latest installment of Arrow's Diversity and Inclusion Speaker Series. Justin is the founder and chief executive officer of Improve On Health, a company that aims to protect and automate medication management for both staff and residents in long-term care. Has the ADA changed America in any way, or uh, is it status quo? I think it has. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what you could attribute directly to, to ADA and what you attribute just to having great people that really care about individuals with disability and just equality in general. But when you travel to different countries, it's pretty clear just walking into buildings or parking lots with all the handicapped spaces or um, various accommodations that are made within buildings that we see in our daily lives, it's very different here than other countries. Although I think there are some other countries that do a great job. Um, but yeah, I do think that America takes disabilities very serious. I think that it's recognized by the leadership and, and the people that, that make important decisions, that this is very important. And um, there's incredible advocacy agencies that work across the country to fight and advocate for individuals with disabilities every single day. And um, I do, I, I do think that ADA as well as many other events have changed America's perspective on individuals with disabilities. For example, um, getting individuals with intellectual disabilities and developmental disabilities out of institutionalized settings. That's only been, you know, within the last 60 years that that's really became real. Um, and that's a huge change. You know, before I was born, it sounds like individuals that were born with very difficult to manage uh, mental disabilities or intellectual disabilities or developmental disabilities were kind of locked away in these statewide institutions that now uh, the push is really to transition individuals that are still in those institutions out of them and into home and community-based settings where they can have that quality of life. And so they're living in homes uh, like you would see in a regular neighborhood with a single family home or townhouse or apartment. Um, and it allows individuals to not live in this institutionalized setting, which is terrible, uh, and have a great life and contribute to society. And so I think that there are major changes that are continuously being made uh, for this population. And it's it's amazing to see. And, and, you know, as a technology and as a company improve on, we'll always do whatever we can to support individuals with intellectual, developmental, or really any sort of disability. Right. Arrow also recently partnered with Silvert's Adaptive Clothing. Silvert's Adaptive Clothing provides easy dressing solutions with adaptive designs for seniors and those with disabilities. They believe that clothes should be fashionable, yet still easy to wear. And we could not agree more. Aero residents are becoming grand influencers, modeling the beautiful and comfortable clothing made by Silverts, and they're promoting it online. Check it out. So it's this company called Silverts. 
and you're modeling for them. Oh my goodness. So put your arms through. Easy. Are you excited? Yeah, I, get, I mean, I'm shocked. <laughs> How do you like the shirt? Oh, it's pretty. <laughs>just feels comfortable absolutely comfortable I don't know I just love it I think it's great multiple Arrow senior living communities are enjoying the spotlight with this campaign including Vitalia Menor, the Boulevard St. Charles Vitalia North Royalton and Vitalia Strongsville but to learn more I sat down with Rachel Sheehan creative project coordinator who was recently at the event Silverts, just tell me about it. Tell us all about it. Yes. So we've been partnering with Silverts for over a year now, I think. We did um, uh, another shoot in the past, but we just started again, where basically Silverts is a company that has these clothes that are adaptive clothing. And so it's a lot easier to get on and off, more comfortable for anyone, especially our residents. And I got to experience that firsthand when I went um, to the communities on Friday. And so with that, you know, I got to help residents get dressed in these clothes and some of them did it on their own. But from my experience, I was just thinking what a game changer this clothes would be for our communities, for especially in our assisted living and memory care. Like it took me probably 30 seconds to put on her shirt and she wasn't uncomfortable at all. Um, just the way it is, it's like the shirt is, some of them are open back, they have buttons, you know, they go on like in the front and then button in the back they had shirts with for men and women that have magnetic buttons on the front so a lot easier than trying to maneuver little buttons um, velcro pieces you know shoes that are open with velcro it's just really cool and our residents get to be a part of it by modeling for silverts they just couldn't believe it the residents were like oh my gosh that was so easy and easy to just take on and off and get dressed so it was really cool What's the ultimate goal then with this fashion wear? Yeah, so we plan to partner with them through the end of the year for sure, where we're going to be promoting it on our social media, but also in return, they are gonna give all of our residents a discount um, to their website. And then also just, I mean, our main goal is just to tell people it exists because I don't think it's, super well known that people know about this and so we plan to have like launch parties to talk about it you know we plan to put some informational stuff in our welcome baskets going forward just to like explain to our residents like this exists if this is something you struggle with like there are natural struggles when it comes to aging but getting dressed doesn't have to be one of them we love this partnership and the stunning clothing that Silverts makes for seniors. I mean, just well done to all involved. Good job, y'all. Yeah, I love seeing it. And now to learn how Arrow is ensuring accessibility and always working to improve our communities for those with different capabilities, I sat down with Justin Roberts, Regional Director of Plan Operations. Well, um, we are doing things at our communities to kind of make them more accessible to everyone, even our residents as they age. Well, what, what kind of things is Arrow doing? Well, I'd say one of the biggest issues, most common issues that we run into, especially is the fire doors for the apartments when you go to enter the apartment because they're have to self-close and self-latch, which means they have door closures on them. They also tend to be extremely heavy because they're fire rated doors. So that can be a big challenge for, for our residents as they're trying to get in and out of their apartments. You know, if, they're, if they use a wheelchair or even if they're just walking, I mean, I've been hit with a, a fire door before and so that it can be a serious challenge for everybody. So one of the things we do is try to make sure that we're keeping the adjustments on the closures at the perfect point. If we make it too easy, then it doesn't close and latch. So we, we have fire issues. Uh, if it's too hard, it can be a, a safety hazard for residents and staff even going in and out of the doors. The uh, handicap accessible doors, door openers. Yeah. So that's kind of on the other end. We have door closures, but we also have door openers, especially at like the main entrances. 
and those ones making sure we have the proper time set to where they open and stay open long enough when you push the button so that they're not closing on people as they're still trying to walk through. So that's the big one too that we've, we've been talking with all the plant office directors about making sure they're setting those timers to the appropriate length. Are, is, uh, so is there any other things outside of door related stuff that we're doing to make things more accessible? Yeah, so one of the other things that we were talking about, because we had a, a meeting on this, uh, actually, I think like two weeks ago, we were talking about some of the things we could do and implement. We we're talking about curb painting. So we're starting to work on that as well. You know, ah. just with residents, you know, or even visitors, anybody on the, on the property who might have diminished eyesight or something, those curbs can be a, a serious hazard for them if they're having a hard time with depth perception or just seeing where that curb stops or starts as they're coming up to it. Uh, so painting them, you know, yellow anywhere in any of those transition areas so that it's more visible to them and they're less likely to trip, trip over it or step off of it without realizing they're at the edge. Uh, and, and even talking about talking about sidewalks still, you know, obviously it's great when, we, when our residents can get outside and, and get some sunlight and some fresh air and walk around. You know, we have, you know, some different walking paths and stuff in a lot of the communities. That's another big focus for us is maintaining a, a level uh, surface and, and making sure that there's no trip hazards along that that walking path along the sidewalks because you know you get you know quarter inch or more you know that starts to become a, a safety hazard they could easily trip over it and uh, end up falling outside so we definitely don't want that so we do regular regular assessments on all the concrete and all the hard surfaces outside to make sure we're keeping up with that as well and so whenever people visit our communities soon and they see those curbs painted the they and they open they press that door that the 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 door the automated door button they'll go through it and they'll be like ah these are all on purpose everything there is done for a reason to help make things more accessible to all of our residents all of our family members all of our employees how incredible is that it's wonderful to be a part of Thank you so much, Justin, for taking the time to talk with us today. We just love how Arrow is always striving to make everyone feel welcomed and empowered. This Disability Independence Day, remember that even though we've come a long way, there is still discrimination and inaccessibility in the world, and we can make it a better place for everyone, no matter your capabilities. Well, everyone, that'll do it for today's episode of Aero Nicely News. We will be back, though, in seven short days with more delightful stories. So be sure to uh, come on back and join us for the fun, huh? Well, until then, for Aero Nicely News, I'm Lenny Hernandez. Have a wonderful weekend, an even better week, and we'll see you all next Friday. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video out. See y'all. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna want a blazer made with those magnets. Click, 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 click. <laughs>